Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Sea of Stars with me, Jalanon. And today, we're probably going to finish Best's Arena Coliseum Battles. I'm trying to find that mole painter in Stonemason's Outpost. I could try to get the achievement for cooking everything. That is a thing I can maybe do. Let's make some berry jam. I don't think I ever have. Wonderful. Yeah. So that is one step in the right direction. For now, we will rest. But we should have kind of all the quests as far as I'm aware. I'm still trying to play semi-blind, though I might just do the quiz master without even worrying about all of that and look at a guide online. We'll see. We'll see. For now, once again, I'm still looking for that painter who is supposed to be kind of behind the inn. But I think, I think the room that they point out in the guide was like, hmm, hmm, maybe this one, which doesn't seem very open, does it? Huh. Well, jumping. Hmm, aha, I go this way. And there's another rainbow conch. Well, okay. Ah, we should be at 40, I think, now. What? There's a model in Brisk who wants to essence captured. That's exactly the kind of inspiration I was looking for. I'm leaving immediately. Okay, so that should be another conch when we go back to the Coliseum. And I have already defeated you because I have defeated the clock worker maker person. Yay, and I got a flimsy hammer out of it. Which I think might be an important item of some sort. Maybe not. Alright, that should be everything in Stonemason's Outpost as far as I am aware. Alright. We move this away. I know there's apparently one more treasure in uh, the Coral Cascades. Because when we go up here, we can use our nice parrot to ping Conch left in Moorlands. Okay, in the Moorlands? I think that's this one, right? It is. Do I care that much at the moment? Eh. Eh. We're kind of far away from any conch rewards anyway. Hmm. We can get treasure here in Sunglow Lake, you say? But yeah, that's all clear. That's clearly not. Hmm. All clear on Settler's Island. Yeah. I think we might face the Colosseum first. I did go here, yes. Pretty sure I did. Yeah. Yeah. We should be done with all these shrines. There was another big door that cinematically opened. Which I can't remember where it was. If I've ever seen it. But yeah. Alright. So. Hmm. I think we just go back, finish up the Coliseum, go to Briskport. Yoink. Ah. <laughs> oh, we'll figure it out. How to fly eventually. At least we can fly with style. So we will go talk to that lady who wanted to be a painter's model. The mole lady eating ice cream over here. Yep. Today's a me day. Thank you for helping me to find a worthwhile muse. Here, this is the least I can offer. Another rainbow conch. Glorious. So, let's go ahead and take another save slot. And then we will go help out at the Colosseum by providing entertainment to the masses. Preferably without molasses. Hmm. How do I... No. Hmm. Feels like we should have an easier time getting over to the Coliseum from this area. But you know what? I'm not the designer now, am I? And more importantly, this way we get to see more brisk. So we already went... Eh, you know what? I am going to double check the hidden market. See if there's anything else down here we might be able to buy. 
No, I've already got Eye of Vilmara on Valir, so it should be good. Should be good. Oh, wait, we'll go. And I think I have to go up. Okay, so you can enter that from the side as well. Intriguing. That's pretty useful, actually. I think that's a good decision to let players find that more easily. Uh, we might find that French-speaking guy on his floaty. Uh-huh. Back you are. I'm wondering if there's any... any point to talking to him again. He's just back in his first position again. Hmm. I don't know. For now, we'll just enter the Coliseum. Dwellers Fall Arena. Special rank. How exciting. There is no party limit for this one. Good luck. Oh, that's useful to know. Okay, so hopefully we get everybody's benefits then. Um, also, I did get something recently from, yeah, the Heliacal Earring. Sunball does full damage to splash targets. Versus seven attack, versus magic attack plus five. Uh, I definitely need this on Zale. I think I also need that on Zale. I like both of these on Valir. Makes life easier. Hmm, Evergreen Leaf on Rashawn has been nice. 15 more HP on Sarai. Honestly, that leaves her kind of closer to the breast, and we get more attack on her. Yeah. Then again, magic attack on best. Well, it makes his ultimate better, right? Okay, well, we'll try this. Into the arena with all five of us. Hello, Tiger Man. Good day, people of Brusca Beyond. Welcome all to Dwellers Fall Arena. Today is as special as it gets. Our rising champion, Best, has decided to shoot for the special rank. Really? Wow. <laughs> this is too much. I'm calling in sick tomorrow. <laughs> this is it. The time has come to summon the ultimate challenge. Is everyone ready for the real show? Yeah. Let's go. The let us call upon it. The terror of the seas, the devourer of sunken ships. Oh, Hydralian. Crystallion. 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 Okay. I guess because there's only one fight, maybe? They decided to. Oh, yeah. I thought this looked suspicious in the background. So it's a crustacean. Oh, man. Oh, that's just epic. Now, now, let the fight begin! Okay. Crystallion, he's got a little shield, too, that's shaped like a skull and part of a ship. Man, this design. I love it. Um, I should probably just hit you with the power of the sun. Beware. It can burn you. Okay, man. Uh, oh. I thought it was going to be an actual attack, so I was like, all prepared for that. Hmm. Well then... If I do a Crescent Arc, can I hit both? A Measure Chest instead of a Treasure Chest. Hmm. Hmm. So I think I do... Yeah, I could... S no. No. Okay, if I do Crescent Arc and Elbow Drop, that works. But otherwise... Hmm. No, it's another measure chest. Okay, well... Huh. Oh, and it's hiding behind a giant shield, of course. Of course you are. So I either use Elbow Drop on this treasure chest, or... I am sad. Alright, we're just gonna do... Okay. Now it happens. No, it's still there. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, we might be in danger. I'm gonna Lunar Shield. I think it's just the right thing to do. Okay. 
Do I just... Well, Dash Strike would allow me to hit... This one? Hmm. We can maybe hit with Abeyance on everything, right? Huh. What am I targeting that I can't see when I do this? Interesting. Uh, we'll target everything. That just seems smart. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, that gets the most time locks off. We don't know what this does yet. Heal? Oh, okay. Oh, it's just random stuff, maybe? Oh, it healed the treasure chest, okay. Condo throw down. What condo? Okay, thank you, Mirror Shield. You are my favorite. Bubble drop. We don't care about bubble drop. It's just not that damaging, really. Uh, we do want to punch stuff a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And that's a lot, a lot. I'm gonna swap you back to Zale. We can combo. I don't need to power up the combo. So I won't. Okay. And then we just have Best or Valir hit this. I think we go with Best. Yes. Okay, we are doing damage. Hmm. And then I think we just basically ignore the treasure chests. As much as we can. So I think I would like to... I could still strike and prevent this from going off entirely. That's probably worth it. Gets us closer to an ultimate as well. Which, we might need the ultimates more than anything else to get through this. Yeah! Blocked it! Okay, um... It's a lot of sun and moon. So clearly we need soon ring. We can do this. That's almost all of our stuff, but not quite. That's the most locks down. So we'll do that. We gain some HP back too. And then we can soon ring if we so desire. Well, if it's only hitting the other treasure chest, I don't think we care. The only question is, do I do this to stop the Crystallium? And I think the answer is yes. All right then. Here we go. No! <laughs> that was so fast. Ugh. Okay. No. That hurts. My soul. Ugh. Okay. So. I do want to heal her. Yeah, heal Valir, but uh, I also think Roshan is our best bet on that. Bubbles, we don't care that much. They're not terribly painful. Yeah, we go with that. Okay. Is it always the one on the left that's healing? That is something to consider. Hmm. I could use Rashawn's ultimate. That's not bad. We heal. We delay. Yeah. The only question is, do I want to empower it? And I don't think I do, because we want to keep our live mana. The Great Eagle. Screonk. America. Is Rashawn American? Okay, anyway. There we go. There we go, people. Oh, I forgot it was uh, poisonous. That's actually great for us. Not for them, but for us. We appreciate you. Hmm. Could do this with Zale. There's not that much point. Okay, Moonerang. I could Crescent Arc, but that's not enough. Alright, Moonerang, redeem yourself. Now that we know that this is incredibly fast. Okay. That was almost too early. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Feels like there is no time. Uh, the pain of much suffering. Okay. I'm gonna punch this chest. Alright. Go away. Oh, you're back again already. Okay. Yeah, so I think we basically ignore the treasure chests unless we can make it work for us. Which clearly... It doesn't like us that much. So. Sarai. I'm gonna have you either disorient Crystallion or shiv him. And I think we get some more shielding. 
Okay. I'm trying the action. I see no action command. Working. Just don't heal the main guy. No! You little punk. Okay. Hmm. I think I try to power smash, see if we can't time this properly for once. I still don't know how I got it the first time, and I've never gotten it since. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. I think I just get my mana. Get some damage in on the boss. Ow. Hmm. So, let's swap you for Zale. No, I want... I want Valir to be empowered as well, separately. Yeah, okay, this should be fine, though. We should do this. And then we do have our three combo. Bottle Punch. Oh, we've never tried that. You know what? We'll swap out Zale real fast. Let's see what this looks like. I want to empower it once. Bottle punch! Oh. Well, that was very fast and not nearly as good as I know. Okay. Oh, life. Some days. When did I learn bottle punch? Hmm. The things we loined. Okay, so... In the past, I thought this only applied once, but then it seems to apply twice. Unless I'm just wrong and I should lunar stuff, but we're doing this for science, I guess. You lied to me last time. Okay, so I guess with the kill, it threw off what I thought would matter. Okay. Well, Petricor, I need you. Yeah, there we go. So that time, I did it right before it hit the other bottle, I think? I thought I was supposed to do it before he threw it. I have confusion. So ultimate with best isn't bad. Elbow drop is also not bad. Elbow drop it is. Dropping them elbows! Okay. Hmm. I wanna get back to conflagrate, though. Ah, oh, the pain and suffering. Okay, so... I think we do a solstice strike. Ah, oh, that 260. Is it getting stronger? Is that part of the issue? Hmm. Let's move you. Uh, oh, I don't have any live mana. Hmm. Honestly, Sarai's ultimate might be better. We get more... Yeah. We get more locks that way, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay, we'll do this. More locks. Not murlocks. Just more. Behold. The cannoneering of the Vespertine. Queen of the Seas. All right. I just realized that's a giant crab claw on the front, isn't it? Hmm. Impressive. Okay. Yeah, and these treasure chests don't seem to die. Ow, too slow. Or too fast? Hmm. Questions. Okay, Zale. You done? Really, I can still only hit the one on the left. That makes me think we can destroy these treasure chests to some degree. Hmm. Well, we're doing this for the damage, if nothing else. Two, three, four. But yeah, we clearly need more stuff. Or I could use Ebb a bunch. Ebb would work. You know what? Take this. Ah, oh, my timing. Why, crew world? Why? 
Thunder. Okay, we've got that timing pretty well down. The Thunder. The Heal. Okay, it's less this time, because we decreased the locks, which makes sense. Okay. Good. I was worried it was actually just increasing in value, period. Which would be bad. Um, I might disorient you. I just don't think I can do the sun ring efficiently enough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll try it, but I don't think it's gonna work quite as well as I'd like. Maybe if I put you both on this side, I'll do better. <laughs> uh, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced! Okay. Okay. Ah! Well, mistakes may have been made. Yoink. Well, at least we took out one of the treasure chests, so we can do that. It'll probably just summon a new one, though, right? This is easier, though. Uh, until I started talking. Yep. Good times. Okay. I think the left treasure chest is the one we were most concerned about anyway. Unless they literally do, like, the exact same stuff. Yeah, and I can only hit you, but frankly, damage. I want to do it. I want to deal the damage that no one ever could. Do, 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 do. Okay, we want more MP on best. I'll do this. And then to get two poison, I think Rashawn might be able to, right? If I time this correctly. That works too. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, I'll punch. Get some live mana. And then we do this. Okay, so now that we know we can destroy these, it feels like there's no reason not to really, unless... No, okay, it's not another friend. Oh, but we can conflagrate, which is clearly the best skill in our tier three combo stuff, as far as I can tell. It just does the most damage. It does AOE. I mean, yeah. That's just clearly the best. Maybe if I was better at timing things? I don't know. I don't think I'm terrible at it. But I'm definitely not the best, either. Could do my ultimate. But I think what we do... is a little bit of an ultimatum. Checkmate them. By stealing their checks with our first mates? I? Actually, wait. What is the hierarchy on this pirate ship anyway? Is there a hierarchy? Hmm. All right then. <sighs> the cannons care not for hierarchy, that's for sure. Yoink. All right. Now I think Rashawn's normal damage is poison based, right? Remind me. Yep, poison. Yoink! Aha! I can't believe that treasure chest is still alive. At the same time, I think I just generate some more living mana. Let me live, mana! Let me live! And I get four out of that instead of three now because of my new items. And that is terrifyingly fast. Hmm. Hmm. I say no, for you are a horse now. Okay, Petrichor makes a lot of sense. One, oh. Okay, well, mistakes may have been made. Hmm. I think Sarai can do the most here, or you? Elbow Dropters too. Elbow drop it is. I will empower you. Behold. Yeah, it's a little weird. His second one goes closer into the boss's actual sprite, but it works out. Ah, I'm too slow. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, gotta look out for all these. We only got a couple. That's okay, we're alive. Uh, though I could use some items, not going to lie. Okay, you. Save us, please. Using the power of thanks and please, I guess I'm. Okay. Now we have options. Well, probably the best one is simply stop the treasure from taking our measure and killing us all, even though this means only Valir has the Lunar Shield. It's probably fine. Uh, ow. I take it back. That hurt a lot. Hmm. I can't kick fast enough. Go with Rashawn. We can take out two locks with Valir, or we can conflagrate right now. Maybe get some good damage in. I think we do this. Because when has damage ever steered us wrong? You know? We kind of go towards the back here to hit this thing. Gotta be inside the sprite. 439 damage, though. Not bad. Okay. I actually action commanded that correctly. We get another ultimate already? Wait, what? Oh, right, that was three combo points on an ultimate. Um. I think Valir still has the best ultimate here. I'll empower it once. Oh, but I do need more mana. I'll smack for mana. Give me that mana. Hmm. You don't need mana. You deal damage. Salvation! Alright, hopefully our enemies couldn't overheal this thing. I think we're overcoming that advantage. Even if they had. I definitely meant to empower this once, but that's okay. 319. We take those. Sean definitely needs his mana. Mana, mana. Time to mana up. There we go. Alright. Pain coming. Good, we're fine. Um, probably not going to have Soon Ring in time, right? I don't think I empower this. But now that there's just the one enemy, this feels much more doable. <laughs> now that's not getting way too close for comfort. Okay. Uh, the only problem is you getting enough sunlight in there. Let's do this once. I think I actually do a normal attack once. Which gives us 4 MP, which doesn't matter to us because you're fine on MP. Then we do a Sunball. So I should have started with Sunball last turn. Then we could have been back up to, like, full. With the combo of Solstice Strike. So I think you get your... You do not. Never mind. I am a fool. Okay. Okay. Well, Zale's dead. Um, we can fix that, though, right? Right. Eventually. Uh, fix it. I think I fixed it. Mm. We'll do one of these. Okay, I can't get my good skill. Hmm. Try Ebb. No, I, I have Rashawn out here because of the magic defense. Okay, you're back. Try Souls to Strike. Yeah, I just don't have a good way of doing a bunch of Sun Strikes at once, do I? Other than Soon Rain. Uh, Conflagrate is multi hit. That's true. And of course, his ultimate is multi-hit. Well, it's a, it's a multi-hit. Hmm. 
I think I save up my combo points, though. That just seems clear. Uh, we can Healing Light pretty easily. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. This should let Rashawn survive. You basically want to time it for right when they're above your character's head on the sprite. Weirdly enough. Okay, so we can do one of these. And then I can dash strike. I can finally Petricorn. We do it! Okay, yeah, that time it was when he was throwing it, I actually commanded, and it seemed that worked pretty well. Uh, you. Stop the cannons. Very good. Okay, now we can conflagrate again. Which we're gonna do. We're just, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be a very fiery, fine dining lobster crambling side dish thing. And you're gonna be delicious. And nutritious. Six, seven, nine. I like it. Then we can just punch you with an ultimate. Because why not? Do a crazy dance. Take a crazy chance. You know? You know? Maybe I should have saved it for when we need to stop another cannon of craziness. Moonfall power! Bonk. Wonderful. I was just thinking maybe he was close enough to dead, but clearly I was pretty optimistic there. Okay, well, <laughs> I take it back. Aw, oh, he's adorable. Folks, it's finally happened. Best and his group have defeated the master of the arena and broken the charm. Look at its size. Crystallion is finally free. Best, best, best. Hey, he's so happy. We did it. <laughs> Congratulations, best. How do you feel? Amazing. Why is Crystallion so tiny now? Oh, you have something for me? Got Vitric Simulacrum. He likes you. Aww. The champions became friends. Talk about a hot warming finale. Well, that's nice. Crystallion has decided to move in with Best. The Best team just got cuter. <laughs> okay. I'm down with that. So I'm betting just really good armor. Really good armor. Like you are now our toughest customer. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you beat Sarai now on magic defense. Cool. Okay. Worth it. Anything else, actually, now that we've done special rank? You completed all the challenges. Congratulations to our champion, Best. Okay. Well, that's a good way to potentially end off an episode, dear viewer. We could try to get this reservation thing. I don't know. We do not have a reservation. All right. So, I think we head back to the world map, take a look at it. But so far, so good. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Sea of Stars, dear viewer. And I hope you have had a great day.